Upon defeating every single boss in the Hall of Gods on any of the three difficulty levels, a special Hunter's Journal entry item can be unlocked, the Void Idol. The form it takes is different depending on if the bosses were defeated at Attuned, Ascended, or Radiant difficulty. In this video, I'll be dissecting the details of these mysterious objects and the lore that they reveal. We learn from the Void Idol's journal entry that it originated with the ancient civilization which worshipped the Void. These idols don't just depict or represent Void, but they contain Void inside of them. How much Void and the state that it's in, as well as the shape of the container, varies depending on which difficulty level has been cleared. While the statue in the Hall of Gods always depicts the knight as either themselves or as a void entity, the idol on the actual journal page does not have as easily recognizable a shape. Let's look at each statue and idol and compare them. If all bosses are defeated on attuned difficulty, a statue of the knight as their vessel self appears with the description, not bug, nor beast, nor god. The idol in the journal entry is described as containing a single drop of void. As a vessel, the knight is one of many of their kind, each of them having been born with a small amount of void contained inside their shell. Vessels are unique beings that don't really fit any of the descriptors listed for the statue, and they contain a small portion of void compared to its entire expanse. Either way, the knight's display of strength earns them a statue along with all the others in the Hall of Gods. It actually appears to be both a statue and a void idol, a void idol in the shape of a statue depicting the knight. If all bosses are defeated on ascended difficulty, the statue is of the knight as a void entity, the same form they take when defeating the Radiance outside of Godhome. The idol in the journal entry is described as having volatile void writhing inside of it. Its shape is also less uniform than the ones corresponding to attuned and radiant difficulty. In this form, the knight has gained strength from the void and transformed into a volatile form capable of lashing at the radiance with its tentacles. After taking on more difficult boss battles, the knight has become more dedicated to combat and showing their prowess, so their statue in the Hall of Gods changes to acknowledge this new nature of their strength. In Godhome, beings are at their full power, and the knight's is now being more acutely attuned. If all bosses are defeated on Radiant difficulty, the statue depicts the Shade Lord, the creature which emerges from the void and destroys the absolute radiance in the pantheon of Hallownest. The idol in the journal is described as having its spires twined together in unity and containing a large amount of void that sits perfectly still within it. The Shade Lord is the void more unified than ever and in a form that is cohesive without being volatile or unstable. By either proving that they can defeat every boss without taking any damage, defeating the Absolute Radiance at her full attuned power, or both, it becomes known to the Godseeker's attunement that such a form is the most powerful one that the Knight could possibly take and that it deserves to be represented in the Hall of Gods. So what do you think? Do you agree with my speculations about the Void Idol and what it represents? Do you have anything else to add? Let me know in the comments! Thank you for watching this video. Please consider sticking around and subscribing to the channel. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.